Well, we had decided to look into the possibility of a new headquarters building, and we appointed a committee of the board to think about and, and to interview uh, uh, architects. And uh, we wanted only the very best. The committee talked to architects all over the world. Uh, we kid about the fact that uh, they had a budget and, and it, was, uh, it was an unlimited budget and they exceeded it. <laughs> they, they traveled all over the world to talk to architects. And ultimately they decided that it was Norman Foster and all the rest. And so as the CEO of the company at the time, uh, it was my job to make the final decision with their support. So I flew to see Norman's activities in London and in Germany and talked to him and of course uh, knew his reputation anyway and uh, decided he was the right person for us. Of course we wanted, since this is something that you do only in one in a lifetime maybe, a headquarters building for a more than 100 year old company, we had a number of constituents, as it were. We had, of course, our employee base, who we wanted them to have a place to work that they felt comfortable about and proud of. But equally important was the general public, because in this great city of New York, both the people who live here and the people who visit here are very much aware of what the skyline is like. And so we wanted, as a company with our history and lineage and with the important things we do and the high quality of the businesses that we're in, we wanted the very best possible building. And uh, we certainly feel like that was accomplished with Norman. And he, of course, had a great influence on that. Well, when we first started uh, to build a headquarters building, having been landmark, uh, our 959 8th Avenue building having been landmark, we weren't certain what we could do. We thought about moving to another location, starting up from scratch. But the building had a lot of history and we had a lot of feeling about how the company had grown with this as its headquarters building and decided that if we could possibly do it here, we would do it here. Uh, the obstacles were many, but the most important was an agreement by the city uh, through its Landmarks Commission to allow this overbuild. Uh, the building got a Leeds designation, gold, the first office building of its kind to get that in New York City. And while, as I had said about why we wanted high quality, we always wanted to do something that was good for the community and made the right statement. But candidly, we were not familiar. We were not in the business regularly of building buildings. and We were not familiar with leads and what that might require. But Norman led us into that and he, he made it very easy for us to say yes to go for that designation and make the concessions and, and make the appropriations that were needed to do the various things to put us in, a, in the position of becoming a gold leads designated building. Yes, well, we have, as a company, we very much believe that as a successful company in all the cities where we do business, it's important to support the civic and artistic activities. When we did this building, this wonderful building that we were so proud of, we wanted someone, to, we wanted art that made an unusual statement and we think the long piece is extraordinary and exceptional and that and the water feature were two of the most important things that we spent time on and worked on and very, very excited about the outcome of both of them. And so I can't say enough for how delightful it was to work with him. And I particularly think that it was something I didn't imagine is that we would end up, I and my senior associates, spending as much time as we did on doing this. Norman was very collegial in his approach. He listens wonderfully well, something that not everybody does, so that he knew what our aspirations were.